Intuitionistic logic, sometimes more generally called constructive logic, is a system of symbolic logic that differs from classical logic by replacing the traditional concept of truth with the concept of constructive provability. For example, in classical logic, Propositional formulae are always assigned a truth value from the two-element set of trivial propositions regardless of whether we have direct evidence for either case. In contrast, propositional formulae in intuitionistic logic are not assigned any definite truth value at all and instead only considered true when we have direct evidence. Hence proof. Operations in intuitionistic logic therefore preserve justification, with respect to evidence and provability, rather than truth valuation. Unproved statements in intuitionistic logic are not given an intermediate truth value. One can prove that such statements have no third truth value, the result dating back to Glavenko in 1928. Instead they remain of unknown truth value, until they are either proved or disproved. Statements are disproved by deducing a contradiction from them. A consequence of this point of view is that intuitionistic logic has no interpretation as a two-valued logic, nor even as a finite-valued logic. In the familiar sense, although intuitionistic logic retains the trivial propositions from classical logic, each proof of a propositional formula is considered a valid propositional value, thus by Hating's notion of propositions as sets, propositional formulae are sets of their proofs. From a proof-theoretic perspective, intuitionistic logic is a restriction of classical logic in which the law of excluded middle and double negation elimination are not admitted as axioms. Excluded middle and double negation elimination can still be proved for some propositions on a case-by-case -case basis, however, but do not hold universally as they do with classical logic. Several systems of semantics for intuitionistic logic have been studied. One semantics mirrors classical Boolean valued semantics but uses hating algebras in place of Boolean algebras. Another semantics uses Crookham models. Intuitionistic logic is practically useful because its restrictions produce proofs that have the existence property, making it also suitable for other forms of mathematical constructivism. Informally, this means that if there is a constructive proof that an object exists, that constructive proof may be used as an algorithm for generating an example of that object. Formalized intuitionistic logic was originally developed by Arendt Hating to provide a formal basis for Brouwer's program of intuitionism. Syntax The syntax of formulas of intuitionistic logic is similar to propositional logic or first-order logic. However, intuitionistic connectives are not definable in terms of each other in the same way as in classical logic, hence their choice matters. In intuitionistic propositional logic it is customary to use, as the basic connectives, treating A as an abbreviation for. In intuitionistic first-order logic both quantifiers are needed. Many tautologies of classical logic can no longer be proved within intuitionistic logic. Examples include not only the law of excluded middle PP, but also Pierce's law PP, and even double negation elimination. In classical logic, both PP and also PP are theorems. In intuitionistic logic, only the former is a theorem. Double negation can be introduced but it cannot be eliminated. Rejecting PP may seem strange to those more familiar with classical logic. But proving this propositional formula in intuitionistic logic would require producing a proof for the truth or falsity of all possible propositional formulae, which is impossible for a variety of reasons. Because many classically valid tautologies are not theorems of intuitionistic logic, but all theorems of intuitionistic logic are valid classically. Intuitionistic logic can be viewed as a weakening of classical logic, albeit one with many useful properties. Sequent calculus Gensen discovered that a simple restriction of his system LK results in a system which is sound and complete with respect to intuitionistic logic. He called this system LJ. 
In LK any number of formulas is allowed to appear on the conclusion side of a sequent. In contrast LJ allows at most one formula in this position. Other derivatives of LK are limited to intuition isotic derivations but still allow multiple conclusions in a sequent. LJ is one example. Hilbert style calculus intuitionistic logic can be defined using the following Hilbert style calculus. This is similar to a way of axiomatizing classical propositional logic. In propositional logic, the inference rule is modus ponens mp, from an infer, and the axioms are then 1, then 2, and 1, and 2, and 3, or 1, or 2, or 3, false. To make this a system of first-order predicate logic, the generalization rules gen, from infer, if is not free in, gen, from infer, if is not free in, are added, along with the axioms pred1, if the term t is free for substitution for the variable x in, pred2, with the same restriction as for pred1, optional connectives negation if one wishes to include a connective for negation rather than consider it an abbreviation for, it is enough to add, not 1, not 2, there are a number of alternatives available if one wishes to omit the connective. For example, one may replace the three axioms false, not one, and not two, with the two axioms not one, not two, as at propositional calculus hashtag axioms. Alternatives to not one are or equivalence the connective for equivalence may be treated as an abbreviation with standing for. Alternatively, one may add the axioms IFF1, IFF2, IFF3, IFF1 and IFF2 can, if desired, be combined into a single axiom using conjunction. Relation to classical logic The system of classical logic is obtained by adding any one of the following axioms. In general, one may take as the extra axiom any classical tautology that is not valid in the two-element Kripke frame. Another relationship is given by the godel gentzen negative translation, which provides an embedding of classical first-order logic into intuitionistic logic. A first-order formula is provable in classical logic if and only if its godel gentzen translation is provable intuitionistically. Therefore, intuitionistic logic can instead be seen as a means of extending classical logic with constructive semantics. In 1932, Kurt Gödel defined a system of Gödel logics intermediate between classical and intuitionistic logic. Such logics are known as intermediate logics. Non-interdefinability of operators in classical propositional logic, it is possible to take one of conjunction, disjunction, or implication as primitive, and define the other two in terms of it together with negation, such as in Lukasiewicz's three axioms of propositional logic. It is even possible to define all four in terms of a sole-sufficient operator such as the Pierce-Arrow or Schaeffer-Stroke. Similarly, in classical first-order logic, one of the quantifiers can be defined in terms of the other and negation. These are fundamentally consequences of the law of bivalence, which makes all such connectives merely Boolean functions. The law of bivalence does not hold in intuitionistic logic, only the law of non-contradiction. As a result, none of the basic connectives can be dispensed with, and the above axioms are all necessary. Most of the classical identities are only theorems of intuitionistic logic in one direction, although some are theorems in both directions. They are as follows. Conjunction versus disjunction. Conjunction versus implication. Disjunction versus implication. Universal versus existential quantification. So, for example, a or b is a stronger propositional formula than, if not a, then b, whereas these are classically interchangeable. On the other hand, not is equivalent to not a, and also not b. If we include equivalence in the list of connectives, some of the connectives become definable from others. In particular, and a complete basis of intuitionistic connectives, as shown by Alexander Kuznetsov, either of the following connectives, the first one ternary, the second one quinary, is by itself functionally complete. 
Either one can serve the role of a sole sufficient operator for intuitionistic propositional logic, thus forming an analog of the Schaeffer stroke from classical propositional logic. Semantics The semantics are rather more complicated than for the classical case. A model theory can be given by hating algebras or, equivalently, by Kripke semantics. Recently, Itachi-like model theory was proved complete by Bob Constable, but with a different notion of completeness than classically. Hating algebra semantics in classical logic, we often discuss the truth values that a formula can take. The values are usually chosen as the members of a Boolean algebra. The meet and join operations in a Boolean algebra are identified with the illogical connectives so that the value of a formula of the form A B is the meet of the value of A and the value of B in the Boolean algebra. Then we have the useful theorem that a formula is a valid proposition of classical logic if and only if its value is 1 for every valuation, that is, for any assignment of values to its variables. The corresponding theorem is true for intuitionistic logic, but instead of assigning each formula a value from a Boolean algebra, one uses values from a hating algebra, of which Boolean algebras are a special case. A formula is valid in intuitionistic logic if and only if it receives the value of the top element for any valuation on any hating algebra. It can be shown that to recognize valid formulas, it is sufficient to consider a single hating algebra whose elements are the open subsets of the real line R. In this algebra, the and operations correspond to set intersection and union, and the value assigned to a formula AB is int. The interior of the union of the value of B and the complement of the value of A. The bottom element is the empty set, and the top element is the entire line R. The negation A of a formula A is defined to be A. The value of A then reduces to int. The interior of the complement of the value of A, also known as the exterior of A. With these assignments, intuitionistically valid formulas are precisely those that are assigned the value of the entire line. For example, the formula is valid, because no matter what set X is chosen as the value of the formula A, the value of can be shown to be the entire line. Value equals int C equals int value C equals int C C equals int C. A theorem of topology tells us that int is a subset of X C, so the intersection is empty leaving int equals int equals r so the valuation of this formula is true and indeed the formula is valid but the law of the excluded middle or a can be shown to be invalid by letting the value of a b y y greater than zero then the value of a is the interior of y y zero which is y y less than zero and the value of the formula is the union of y y greater than zero and y y less than zero which is y y zero not the entire line the interpretation of any intuitionistically valid formula in the infinite hating algebra described above results in the top element representing true as the valuation of the formula regardless of what values from the algebra are assigned to the variables of the formula conversely for every invalid formula there is an assignment of values to the variables that yields a valuation that differs from the top element no finite hating algebra has both these properties Kripke semantics building upon his work on semantics of modal logic, Saul Kripke created another semantics for intuitionistic logic, known as Kripke semantics or relational semantics. Tarshi-like semantics It was discovered that Tarshi-like semantics for intuitionistic logic were not possible to prove complete. However, Robert Constable has shown that a weaker notion of completeness still holds for intuitionistic logic under a Tarshi-like model. In this notion of completeness we are concerned not with all of the statements that are true of every model, but with the statements that are true in the same way in every model. That is, a single proof that the model judges a formula to be true must be valid for e every model. In this case, there is not only a proof of completeness, but one that is valid according to intuitionistic logic.
Relation to other logics Intuitionistic logic is related by duality to a paraconsistent logic known as Brazilian. Anti-intuitionistic or dual-intuitionistic logic. The subsystem of intuitionistic logic with the false axiom removed is known as minimal logic. Relation to many-valued logic Kurt Gödel in 1932 showed that intuitionistic logic is not a finitely many-valued logic. Relation to intermediate logic any finite hating algebra which is not equivalent to a Boolean algebra defines an intermediate logic. On the other hand, validity of formulae in pure intuitionistic logic is not tied to any individual hating algebra but relates to any and all hating algebras at the same time. Relation to modal logic Any formula of the intuitionistic propositional logic may be translated into the normal modal logic S4 as follows and it has been demonstrated that the translated formula is valid in the propositional modal logic S4 if and only if the pre-translated formula is valid in IPC. The above set of formulae are called the godel mckinsey tashi translation. There is also an intuitionistic version of modal logic S4 called constructive modal logic CS4. Lambda calculus There is an extended curry howard isomorphism between IPC and simply typed lambda calculus. 